All right, Super Mega Space Blaster uh, Special Version 2. Guys, why is it that I like this 99 cent game so much? Well, it seems like these indie solo developers just keep trying to one-up each other on this particular type of space battle game where you're a ship on a screen. Um, the screens usually don't move. Uh, if you crash into a border in a lot of them, you die. And it automatically thrusts you. It means you cannot stop. So you're flying around. And there's all kinds of asteroids and rocks and enemies and bosses and all kinds of stuff flying around. There's all kinds of collectibles to pick up if you can steer into it. You're trying to stay alive as long as you can. A lot of them just give you one life and you're trying to last as long as you can, score as many points as you can before you die. And they're just a fucking blast. These are a blast to play. How you doing? Rock and roll. Good to see you. So this one I fucking really love, guys, because uh, it's just got more to it than the other games. It plays really well. Um, you save up these coins, which you can use to buy different things. And so we can buy a mini shop once we get 20. We can open up a mini shop. Uh, and then once Welcome we have a mini shop, we can probably buy more you. shit. Um, a warp engine, install a warp engine in every space blaster, allowing warping from green edge to screen edge in survival. Oh, that's cool. So you can use the... You can warp from one screen edge to the other screen edge. Oh, so basically, I think it just means you can warp from one, one, one side to the other. Right now, you die, I believe. But you spend 30 golds, I believe this means you're not going to die, and you're going to wrap around. Yeah, because, I mean, if you hit something now, it's going to kill you. Yeah, if you hit the edge of the screen. So, you yeah. gotta that. I want to open up this mini shop first, guys. So our goal in this video is to get to at least 20. But you can spend your money other ways as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and go back here. Now, you can play this game with a controller as well, but there's just so much I like about this game. So you come in here, you can see the leaderboards. There's different modes to this game. Now, the new version, the new $5 version, offers five different modes. This one has Protect Mother um, to the Death leaderboard. We have Survival. We have Survival 1 player. So you can play with a friend. You can do co-op here. I'm going to have to get my son to play this game with me because it's just good. And then Protect Mother. So... Let's go ahead and do the basic one here first, the Survival 1P. But here, you can look at the leaderboard. You can see that, hey, here's the top 10 scores. You can go to my score. You can see, hey, I've placed number 61. I only have 9,200 points, which basically I suck compared to the, uh, you know, the top dude. 127,000. Guys, this is my ultimate goal. At some point, guys, at some point, I am going to be number one on Survival 1 player on this game. And... You will find that video on my channel right here. I promise you guys, I will make number one, one way or another, even if it kills me, because I love this game. So I am going to beat you, Bob. Whoever the hell you are, Bob, I'm going to beat your ass. Oh, Bob, he's coming for you. I'm coming for you, Bob. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Bob. All right. So we're going to go back here. So you can also go, guys, you can go to progress. So it shows you your total play time. Uh, and then... Um, 24% complete, how many ships you've unlocked, how much stuff I bought, which is nothing. Um, yeah, see, I got, I've got. i only got one out of 23 achievements. I've only seen 10 of the 21 enemies. So it shows you a whole bunch of stats and stuff like that as well, which is pretty cool. You have all these challenges. Uh, a current challenge, Mother Matters. In the Protect mode, prevent the mothership from taking damage for 30 seconds. You get three gold. So these are kind of all like quests you can do to get gold. Um, you, you can see that I haven't even unlocked all these quests. I've only done these down here. I mean, this game just offers so much for so little. For 99 cents, you get all this. Um, look at all these achievements. You get enemies. You can see what enemies you've unlocked. Just a brilliant game for 99 cents. Um, I don't know why this game's not more popular, to be honest. Uh, anyway, um, if we look at our options, if you guys want to see that, we have vibration. We can select our country. Um... You got lots of choices there. And you know what? Let's turn on the subtitles so we can see what they're saying. When we have that Chinese voice, that lady Chinese voice, we can understand what the hell she's saying. Maybe if we have subtitles on. Uh, you have your audio. You have turned my music down or it's at 20% by default, which is good. You have four different sliders here, which I love to see, especially in a 99 cent game. You don't typically see all those sliding controls. Um, we have resolutions here. You have Full screen on or off. You have uh, anti uh, so what is that? Anti sotropic filtering and anti aliasing on or zero times. Let's start it to two times. And then controls. You can set up your controls here as well. 
And like I said, you can play with controllers, you can set up all the keys, all the different buttons, for whatever you want. And you can customize keys here. This game just offers a lot. We're gonna go ahead and play though. Oh, you can also come down here and go to the story. Right now, what the hell you're fighting for? I don't care, I just wanna play. Alright. So if somebody wanted to join me, Sarah, if you were right here beside me, you could hit mm -hmm. X and you could join me. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and come here into survival and we're going to... Oh, the, another thing you can spend your credits on is you can buy a new ship. So if I come here, you can see I can buy this ship here. You can see all the stats about it for two gold. Um, you can come here for five. You can buy this one. This one has good breaks. Um, magnet, That's how I think that's how much, you, how much suction you have to suck in all the power-ups and coins and stuff. Um, if, if if it was rock and roll, my game of this would be called Mother Sucker, not Magnet. Yes, of course. Um, doing pretty well. Rock, rock and roll and says, "Watch your ass, you? Bob." <laughs> watch, that's right. Watch your ass, Bob. I'm coming for you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this one costs ten. It's a mantis. Ooh. All right. Max ammo one twenty. Well, what's what? Max fuel one twenty. What's my um? Oh, XMO 120. Yeah, we're just gonna stick it with with the Nebula here, or whatever, and we're gonna go ready. Yeah, I love 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 this game. This, this game's amazing for 99 cents. All right, let's go. Oh, so now we know that she's saying survive. Cool. I'm glad I turned on the uh, post captioning. I had no idea what she was saying before. So here you go. Again, you cannot stop in this game, guys. There's so many of these games, so you can pick up these to get more ammo. You can see your ammo at the top left. You can also speed up and slow down by hitting W and S. A and D is rotating. Or not rotating, but turning. Thirty-eight seconds. I mean, lasting two minutes is is not easy in this game. Ammo depleted. Okay. Need more ammo. Let's see. Yeah, how kind of how I'm sucking stuff up there. That's your magnet. Laser. Laser. Nice. There we go, I had to get some more bullets. So no matter what kind of gun you have, you have to get these bullets to have ammo. So even a laser. I will be right back, everyone. Okay. Just give me a few moments, please. Oh, I died. So I've got a long ways to go to get that 127,000 rock and roll. I'm coming, but man, if I don't play a hell of a lot better than this, then... I like the fact, too, you can tweet your score. Let's oh, see cool. if I got 16 coins now. Yes, I did pick up a coin playing the regular... So that's cool. There is a way to actually get money playing whatever version you want. Let's go, and let's play the mothership. I think I said I have to protect her for longer than a minute or two minutes or something. Um, so let's go mode, do the death. That's two player only, okay. Protect mother. Okay, ready. See if we can earn those three extra coins to get us closer to that 20 we need to buy the mini shop. All right. Oh, so here's the mother down here. We have to protect her. Yeah, I remember this now. And this one, I actually hold the mouse button to shoot. I don't automatically shoot. That's interesting. Oh no, it's getting hit. Oh, get that thing. Okay. So I can hit some keys down here, one, two, and three, to shoot some uh, shoot some projectiles from the mother ship if I need to. That's cool. Okay, I gotta last. I think two minutes. I think was the the objective. Oh no. Okay, the mother health, the mother's health is still pretty good. I wonder if it's like rock and roll where you gotta protect the earth. I wonder if you can get more health for it somehow. Oh, this is another fun mode. She 
Minute 25, its health is still really good. Oh no, I died! Damn it. Well, that ain't two minutes. I think the uh, play again. Oh, for 30 seconds. In order to protect the mother mode, prevent the mothership from taking damage. Oh, I can't take any damage for 30 seconds. Okay. So I gotta protect it for just 30 seconds, but I can't let it take any damage at all. We're at four seconds already. Thirty seconds, that's not long though. Surely I could. I mean I'm already halfway there. This has gotta be an easy three coins, right? No, I died. I'm dead. I was close. Alright. Try again. Game ain't easy. Alright. 30 seconds is all I need. Come on. No damage yet. 22 seconds. Oh no! No! <laughs> I took damage at 29 seconds! Shit! God damn it. Let's let's restart. How do I restart? Oh man. I want those four coins. Play. Protect mother, yes. I was so close and it got hit by one little thing at 29 seconds. I believe in you, you can do this. Actually, I'm sitting here spamming my um, my shoot button. You really don't want to do that because then you're going to run out of ammo less. And you're going to run out of ammo when you need it. Oh god. No. No. Stay back. I did it. I got my three coins. Yay. We got them, guys. Alright. You just got hit right there at 39 seconds. You were right, Dragonus. I did it. I'm out of ammo. Yeah, see right there, it kind of had a little hiccup. It's the only bad thing I can say about this game, is every once in a while it'll have that little hiccup. Mothership was destroyed, a minute 53. Yay, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dragonus. Appreciate it. Um, okay, rank 107. My apologies. Hey, I increased my last rank. Welcome back, Sarah. I did uh, 20 bet 20. I moved up in rank 20 spots there. Nice. The main thing, guys, is I got night. Oh, I got 22 now. Nice. I got 22 um coins, so I can come in here. No, wait a minute. Back. I can buy the shop. I can buy the mini shop. Oh yeah, now we got two coins. Alright. So let's go back and play my survive mode so I'm not having to worry about protect the ship. I just want to worry about protecting me. Just me. Alright guys, let's go ahead and review this game again. Um, we just started trying to review this game earlier. Now that um, we can. <laughs> now that we can, now that we know that the tweeting is working. Um, Again, value for this game, guys, is phenomenal. I could sit here and play this game for 
hours straight, and the game's only 99 cents. Uh, I think a lot of other people are going to be able to get a tremendous amount of value out of this. Uh, the ability to, to earn coins, to buy a shop, to upgrade ships, to get power-ups, to buy all kinds of cool stuff, um, makes it that much more, you know, adds that much more replayability to it. I mean, really, to get a good value score, I really only require that a game gives you as many hours in playtime as it costs you in dollars. This game's a dollar. Uh, phenomenal value on this one, guys. 40 out of 40. There's no way I could take any points away from the value. It gets max value for sure. And um, and then some. So the next criteria is fun. How much fun is a game? My level of fun might be different than Sarah's level of fun or your level of fun. It's probably the most subjective part of my scoring. His opinions vary. Everybody's different in what we like, you know, uh, what we find fun. But I just find this a game of joy to play. Like I say, I can't imagine anybody playing this and not having some level of fun. Uh, but like we say, everybody's different. I ran out of fuel. Oh no. But I really like this one, Sarah. Um, for me, fun. I think this. I think this game delivers on the fun. Twenty-eight out of thirty. Um, just because I could, I mean, if it wasn't fun, I couldn't sit here and play this game for hours, and I know I could. Right. So I picked up a little fuel there, but it didn't last very Especially long. Especially you having played it before. Yeah. Yeah. And you're playing it again because you like it so much. Yeah, and I, just, I really, I probably would have played it even more by now. I just simply forgot about it. You know, with all the games that we review and everything that was going on last summer and my job and all that. Um, Oh man. oh man! Oh, I thought I didn't think I was gonna get hit there, but my lack of fuel definitely cost me there. But this game's a sheer joy to play, guys. Fun twenty-eight. Next one is controls and bugs. Uh, it's worth twenty points. And this particular game, I mean, the, the controls and bugs are are pretty much flawless. We saw that the tweet my score that was causing a hiccup it wasn't the game itself. It was actually my antivirus being oversensitive and thinking that the game was trying to send out a tweet that something crazy was going on so my antivirus shut down the game and locked it up so it wouldn't update and locked it up so i couldn't play it and so that was the problem was my antivirus so if you're playing this and you try to tweet your score or whatever i realize it's probably your antivirus you probably need to go in there and add an exception uh, i use a vast and a vast cause the problem for me but the only hiccup I've seen, Sarah, and I am going to take away just a little bit here uh, in the bugs and in the controls, and it is just the fact that um, every once in a while I do notice a little bit of stall, and I think it does. That's right, you mentioned yeah, that. Yeah, it, it does. It, it doesn't happen for Yeah, it's it's like a half a second maybe, um, and it seems like it happens maybe every minute or two, and it's just like everything will freeze for just a split second, like a hill will hiccup. And I don't know what that's caused by. I'm pretty sure that it's not caused by me streaming or sharing it or anything like that because I remember it from last summer as well. Uh, I would love to know if anybody else playing this game or plays this game gets that little hiccup. It may be something with my computer again. I mean, you know, the uh, tweet problem was definitely not the game. It was, you know, my antivirus. So it could be something on my computer causing that, not the game itself. Uh, but, but because uh, I feel like it's probably somewhere in the game, um, I'm going to go ahead and take away just one point here, 19 out of 20 points. Uh, if I ever discover that, you know, it's not the game, it's something on my end, or something that doesn't happen when I'm streaming or whatever, I'll definitely go back and give the developer that that missing point. But it hasn't happened yet, this stream. Um, so, oh, we got mines now. Cool. So you just, basically, in this game, you just got to stay away from everything. You also got to pick up all these bullets you can. You also need to pick up all the little blue goblets you can for fuel. Uh, because if you run out of fuel, you're going to die. And it's really just staying as long as, as long as you can and shooting as much stuff as you can uh, before okay, you die. As much ammo as you can, yeah. And then you have, you can play with two players. You can play in the Mother Earth, protect the mothership uh, mode, where you got to try to keep damage from happening to the mothership at the bottom, which is which is fun. Adds an extra challenge as well. But see, there's some fuel right there. I picked up two things of fuel, so I got a little bit more fuel. Um, and But now I'm out of bullets. So I got homing missiles, but I'm out of bullets, and so I get there we go. So I got homing missiles as long as I pick up bullets. And oh no, I ran out of fuel again. So this is where the game really starts getting challenging, is when you start running out of bullets and ammo. There's really not a whole lot you can do. And run into things. Yeah, um, I honestly think I honestly think this game could be a 30 out of 30 for fun. But I think the fact that the game is so difficult and requiring you to pick up bullets and uh, fuel. 
all the time and it, it starts limiting how much you can get uh, in the later levels, I think that honestly takes away from the fun a little bit. I mean, yeah, challenge can be fun, but this game, um, I think it makes it a little bit difficult to pick up what you need uh, as the game progresses. And I think that steals away a little bit away from the fun. That's why this game only gets a 28 out of 30 for fun. Um, other thing, guys, I think this game would just be a sheer blast. And the next criteria, guys, is graphics and sound. For the type of game that it is, sir, we're not trying to, trying to compare this game to, you know, Everspace or some 3D space game or, you know, anything like that. We are simply comparing this to other games like it that we've seen on Steam before, especially at a 99 cent price tag. You can't expect some epic, you know, Unreal 3D uh, graphic game. And it's probably better than it's not because this means you can play this game on any potato computer. I'm pretty sure you could play this game on, you know, your old computer, Sarah, without any problems or uh you know anybody you're gonna be able to play this game with any problem fuel cell that you did not go oh yeah it's way up there yeah i've got to go get and it you are so gonna miss that no i'm not i'm getting it i am getting it uh, look at that oh, it's my that suction so that <laughs> yeah, if you wouldn't have reminded me i would have missed it but yeah i love this game you would have just let it go on by. The, the special effects when you hit these rocks and they blow up, uh, I think it looks good. You see all the blue little sparks. I love the stars in the background. Uh, I love the sound effects. The music is phenomenal. I can't I can't take any points away here, Sarah. 10 out of 10 for graphics and sound. And we... A bunch of ammo. Gotta, gotta get this ammo for sure. You add that all up, Sarah. Add that up for me. 40 out of 40 for value. 28 for fun. I wasn't, I wasn't adding. <laughs> 28 out of 40 is... Um, 68. We add in another 19 for controls and bugs, makes 87. And 10 out of 10 for graphics and sound is a 97. Mm -hmm. So this game gets a 97%, guys. It definitely is actually any gold. I should have reviewed this, you know, put this game up last summer when I first played it because I knew it was a super high score back then. Yeah. And um, this game's way up there, guys. Uh, it's a must. Better buy. late than never. <laughs> I would, I would, I would say this is a must buy, no matter who you are. Uh, even if you typically don't like 2D space shooters or you know, 2D well, like, games or like whatever. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Try I, this game. You know, yeah, I did the arcade games, you know, in the 80s, of course, didn't mm -hmm. we all? But yeah, I haven't really done much shooters since. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a cute game. I would even play it, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. The controls are really easy. I mean, it's just hitting A and D, or I'm sure you could, you could use a controller as well, um, if that helped you. So that's really nice that it has such as I love, love the fact that it has leaderboards, that it has uh, all the options to change your key binds, to change your controller buttons if you want to. Check out your leaderboards. It has all the value of being able to buy all kinds of upgrades and different ships and shops. And um, it has a quest system, and so you can do basically your quest or your uh, challenges. Would you rather? It has two modes of play. You can play this one. You can play the save the you know protect mother ship mode. Uh, you can also play in two player mode. And also there's a two player dual mode where you can um, you know play against another player and and have a fight. Which I haven't even tried that aspect out. Right there, just hiccup for just a second, just a split second. Just did it again, and that's one of the reasons it gets a 19 out of 20 um, for the controls and bugs. This game isn't quite perfect, guys, but for 99 cents, this game is a phenomenal value, and I highly recommend that each and every one of you go pick up this game. There's a coin I want to get that so I can upgrade shit. Um, coins are probably the most valuable thing you could get in this game early on until you you know bought everything you need those coins help you buy new ships they help you buy all kinds of stuff so 97 percent sarah do you think that's a fair score from what you're seeing hmm? you think that's a fair score from what you're seeing i think so i think this developer deserves it mm -hmm. yeah and i mean this goes to show guys that this is what happens when you have a developer that may have more of a simple game. It may not have taken him a year to make this game or whatever. But this is what happens when you have a developer that actually tries to make a game that's fun to play. This is a game that I'm sure the developer enjoys playing very much. He play, he made a game that he enjoys playing. He made a game with the fun of the game as a number one priority in making it. He didn't just buy a whole bunch of 3D assets and jumble them together into a big incohesive mess like we see so often on Steam. Um, this goes to prove you don't need to be out there purchasing 3D asset kits on Unity to make a stellar game. 
you don't need to be making a 3D game to make an amazing game that's just a joy to play. Uh, all, all you need is, you know, a desire to make a game that's fun to play. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter, um, you know, the fact that maybe you're not buying all kinds of 3D assets and stuff like that. Uh, you can have a killer game that's just a, a uh, you know, not a fun to play. I just matched my leaderboard spot number 44. Guys, go up by this game. Try to try to compete with me and try to see who's who can actually take over the number one spot on the uh, survival single player leaderboards first. If you guys can beat me on the Steam leaderboards in this game, give this game some um, back to menu. Give this game support because if we go back and we look at this game, Super Mega Space Blaster just came out last summer. Um, we're gonna go ahead and quit. We're gonna go yes. I love this right here as well, guys. Right here, you see. Also, don't forget to leave Steam reviews for games that you uh, enjoy playing. It really helps us smaller developers. I can't overemphasize that enough. Um, to uh, to leave reviews. A lot of times, I think we're more. We as people, we're more likely to leave a review or talk about the big games, the big AAA games, and leave reviews for those bigger games. And we neglect these smaller games and these smaller indie developers. These are the guys, including myself as an indie developer, we're the ones who need those reviews more than anybody. Um, we need more recognition because these reviews can help us get noticed more on Steam. Um, but instead, everybody gives all the you know huge games. That's where they leave their reviews. You know, people are more likely to leave a game with 100,000 reviews, their review, than to leave a game like this a review. And the developer who made this game definitely needs that review much more. Um, Goodbye, it says. So if we come back here to the desktop here, guys, we're going to come here. And this is what I want to show you. This is why developers like this need like reviews so much. Because if we come look at this game, it came out, it came, it's been out for over six months now, Sarah. It only has 12 reviews. You can see every review here is positive. I'll be leaving my review as well um, for this game, showing that it's a must-buy in my Zaxxers Any Gold. And I feel kind of bad that we didn't have this on the Zaxxers Any Gold list last year, uh, you know. but I just forgot to take it out of that stream we did where I first played it and loved it. And I honestly just completely forgot about it um, and how much I like it, or I probably would have had a lot more hours in it by now. 